Hi everyone, welcome to DecisionPointSecurity.com, H1Opsec.com, however it was you managed to reach us today. Um, my name is John Robinson and I'm the founder of Decision Point Security. And I wanted to take a moment to welcome you to the website. Thank you for being here and talk a little bit about the differences between our services and other security uh, firms that you may come across um, in this particular area. So Decision Point Security was founded on you know several decades of experience in the networking space, in the product development space for technology, um, and in security and disaster recovery operations for major corporations around the world. Um, one of the key differences is really based upon what I've learned over time and in that experience in working with clients from all over the world and technologies as they've changed over the past several decades. Two primary things. One, technology consistently changes. An escalation in the ability of hackers or advanced persistent threats um, or other people just trying to steal your information is matched by a technological change on the side of those trying to protect information. It escalates over and over and over. It's a repetitive process. Well, the one thing that doesn't change in all of this, which is really lesson number two, is the people. People do not change. Hence, we focus on what we term HU1, OPSEC, or Human First Operational Security. Because once we have this base understanding that it's people that run the technology, it's people that write the software, it's people that utilize those services in their day-to-day -day businesses and business processes, and it's their decisions and how they make their decisions, what they're aware of and what they're not aware of, that really makes the biggest difference in information security, period. How we make our decisions, what our habits are, what we're aware of, how we go about doing what we do every day has the largest impact on our security. Just look in the news. Every day you hear about a company that you know has spent millions and millions of dollars trying to protect itself from human invasion has failed. Why is that? It's because people have a tendency to be able to overcome any process, any technology, because we've built it. We are both what many in the industry consider to be the weakest link and what I consider to be the strongest link in the security chain. That's the difference between us and others. Now, secondarily, the benefits from that are this. It really does not cost tens of thousands or even millions of dollars to begin to protect yourself in a better way, particularly if you're a small business. Yes, we do audits. Yes, we do threat assessments. Yes, we come in and we do basic uh, training on security awareness. But those costs are minimal in comparison to what you're going to avoid in terms of a loss. Loss for a standard small business of about 100 people, 50 to 100 people or so during any incident of a loss of information is about $35,000 to remediate it. It doesn't take $35,000 to begin to protect yourself better, to train your people to do a better job of understanding what they need to avoid, to design your business processes in a better way that you just operate in a much more secure manner. This is why we focus there. This is what HU1 OPSEC is really all about. And I'd love to have a conversation with you. So again, thank you for visiting our site. Welcome, please look around. Take a moment, contact us via the contact page. We don't spam, I don't send out marketing in this manner. Um, visit our 60 Seconds on Security over on YouTube. You can learn a whole lot there for free. Um, look for some of our other products coming out soon. But certainly, if you're in the small business space, just take a moment, contact me. We can have a conversation about what it is we can do for you. Um, and if it's not a fit, you know, we can determine that as well. Uh, but what we're offering here, way more affordable, way more focused on what's going to actually work to protect you and your business. And we would love to hear from you and help you out. So again, thanks for visiting. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.